So you want to add a dynamic keyword insertion into your Google Ads ad copy. And what this can produce is ads similar to this that really mirror the keywords that you have used or that you are bidding for within your ad group. So you can do it for either your keywords, but you can also do it for location. And I'm gonna show you how to do both. So what we're gonna do is just go to this example campaign and we're gonna edit some of our existing ad copy to see where a dynamic keyword insertion would be suited. So the first one we're gonna do is just the keyword insertion. So what this does is when you type in this little key, I don't know how to explain it, but that's what you need to type in on your keyboard. It's to, it's to the right of mine, just by the enter button. So what this does when you click on it, it gives you these selections. So we have one for keyword insertion, we have one for countdown. So if you have a set day, you're gonna be advertising for a sale potentially, you can add this in there so you don't have to or have to change it every single time. And then we also have one for location. I'm just gonna show you keyword insertion and location as these are the ones you're gonna use the most of the time. So let's just look at keyword insertion. So these are the keywords I have here within my ad group, okay? So I have different variations of 24 hour plumber, 24 hour plumber near me, 24 hour plumber spelled differently, 24 hour emergency plumbing, and 24 hour plumbing service near me. So I have a few different variations of a very, very similar keyword. So for this example, I'm just gonna click on this and that's all I would need because my first key, my first headline was literally just mirroring my my keywords. So we're going to put that in there. And what you put in this default text is basically what you want to have displayed. If some for some reason it messes up and it doesn't display the keyword that they've used, that's triggered the ad. So let's just put this in, for example. So that's why I want to show if it if it messes up and it has to put default text in. I choose it. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to do it to that and click apply. So that's the first example you can use it. The second example we can use is a location one. So for this headline here, I have 24 seven Bristol emergency plumber. But if I wanna be a little bit more specific, I could put in a dynamic keyword insertion for location. So if I put this in here and then the default text, I'm just gonna put back to Bristol. And yeah, town and city. If there's some towns within Bristol that they've they've used for the location, this will show this bit here. So this would be, for example, 24/7 Canesham emergency plumber, rather than Bristol, because they've typed in Canesham as their as their keywords that they've put in the search bar. We can have that mirrored in our ads, which makes it more relevant because it matches what they are searching for and means they are more likely to click on our ads because it's more specific. This is message match. Okay, so that's what we want to do. And our default text, in case it messes up, is just Bristol because that's, that's a little bit more broad than this is showing, but it's still very, very specific and still what we're looking for. So that's fine. So there you go, we click apply and there we have it, two uh, keyword insertions, one for keywords and one for location in our adverts now. And uh, we'll just save that one. And there you are, simple as that. All right, thank you guys, see you next.